Zach Fisher has officially requested a trade to the North Melbourne Football Club. Seemingly the end of an era. Welcome to another video here on the channel. I want to go through the situation with Zach Fisher, what it would mean for us, and, and really just get your thoughts on the situation. So let's paint the picture of Zach Fisher at Carlton. So drafted with pick 27 in the 2016 national draft, which I think now, you know, you pick 27, I think he did a reasonably good job of giving us the service required. Uh, you know, he's played 107 games, kicked 53 goals, won career Brownlow vote. Um, you know, Fish was one of the, one of a few players, I thought, who in that period of time, that two to three period of time, draft picks, we were in a situation with the list where we were playing a lot of the younger players, the younger draft picks and getting games into them. So a, a really a heavy investment early on. And you can see that with, you know, 17 games in 2017, 17 games in 18, 21 games in 2019. And then he went through a little period of time where injuries just seemed to hit him. He had the ankle, um, so 2020 plays eight games, 2021 plays 10 games. Uh, I think the best of Fish was 2022. Uh, and that was when there was a bit of doubt about him going into that season because he had been injured and interrupted for the, the seasons prior to that. And, and he wasn't able to play as many games as what he had in the first few seasons. And so he played 22 games in 2022, every game, uh, one of two or three players to do that, kicked 18 goals. And I think... From that point, we went from Fish as the midfielder, sort of moved a little bit to the wing, and then at that period, it was evident that he wasn't going to be a part of the mid, the main midfield group moving forward. So that led to him needing to be used across the half forward flank. Kicked eighteen goals that year, which is a reasonable return. My memories of Fish, uh, I thought that year was the year he started to take the leap or the step forward and and, and evolve and and really hone in on on his ability. Um, the reality is 2023 rolls around. We now are, you know, we're at a point where, you know, we're making a prelim. This is where the group is at right now. Um, he played 12 games this season, kicked four goals, um, sort of started across half forward, got a little bit of midfield time. And on the wing, it was, it became a really versatile role. And then by the end of the season, he was out of the half forward line and into the half back line. And so I think, when I reflect now on that happening, that was probably the 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 moment where the coaching group had decided that he was no longer part of that half forward group moving forward. So, you know, we end up losing a, a versatile player who showed that he can play in a number of positions. I don't think there's ever been a question around whether he can win the ball. I think the questions around him, if I, if I reflect now and we're looking at a team that, He's playing a really heavily contested game and that's the team we want to be. And I look at the prelim and I look at the finals and when it really heats up, uh, Fish, it's probably not his one wood, as David King would say, uh, the contest side of things. I think the his best attributes are his ability when he's in space. You know, not everyone can be a contested bull, um, but I think he's got the footwork and the dexterity and the creativity to get himself out of certain situations. So I always viewed him as someone who was more of a link in the chain and the scoring chains moving forward than someone who would, you know, win the hard ball. I mean, when you've got Patrick Cripps, George Hewitt, Kennedy, you know, Chera Walsh, these types, you don't need everyone to be able to, you know, win the ball at the source. So I, I think... What this means is that there is, well, first of all, it, it means we're getting serious. That's how I reflect on it. And the fact that we're at a point with this group where we can afford to lose a player of Fisher's capabilities, uh, it sort of shows where the group is at. This is the window. This is the premiership window. You know, we are contenders and, um, you know, he, he wasn't able to get a game in the final series. And I think when you, when you zoom out, that kind of says everything there. So... Right or wrong, who knows? Um, I, I'm aware that he has a few years left on his contract, so uh, it's an interesting one. I think the way it's been reported would suggest that you know he just didn't want to stick around for two years. I don't think that's the case. I think it's a lot more complex than what 
is being reported. And I don't think it's as simple as, oh, he just wanted midfield minutes. So he's left the club with, you know, a few years remaining on his contract. I think there's a lot more at play. Um, so obviously wishing him all the best. It's it's tough because, you know, we cover them week to week. I've covered Fish week to week. He was a favorite of mine. I think what North Melbourne receive is a player who's capable of playing in a finals team. Um, but I think when you look at North Melbourne and where they're at, oh, anything can happen in football. But I'm not sure if North Melbourne are ready to contend just yet. They're still a young group. He all of a sudden becomes a senior presence in a young group so that'll be interesting for him it's 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 a reminder that oh, like you know there's the business of sport and this is where we're at and unfortunately he's not able to get himself into the team to help us win a premiership so there's that and that's cutthroat and i love it and it means we're getting serious and then there's the other side these are human beings you know it's a football club as much as we want to turn it into a business as a league you know, we're, and as much as we all think the AFL is like the be all and end all, it is, you know, the essence of a football club is just that, you know, you, you have the ability to be closer to players than what you would in other sports. So you grow relationships with them. You see him at functions. And one thing about Fish that I think will hold him in good stead is his ability to embrace the fans. And that's something that was always the case with him. He was a bit of a fan favorite. Um, and, and now he enters that senior part of his career and you know we wish him all the best now the other thing that i'm thinking of i mean there's someone that i have full faith in full faith in this situation and that's nick austin and the team so the question then in my mind turns to all right so we're willing to lose a player of zach fisher's ability who we know can play senior football and contribute and help a team make the finals and what's in store is you know we'll touch on Elijah Hollins in another video is that a potential replacement or a play there um, are we looking ahead to next year's draft what are we looking to do a lot of speculation but I think what this means is if we're willing to lose a senior player that can play football we're looking to replace him with something now is that just a situation of you know Jack Carroll Jackson Bins Lockie Cowan these types coming up or are we going to be replacing them with some senior players who are out there, potentially free agents who won't cost us as much? Obviously, we we lose a player who's contracted, so we, we're able to free up some, some cap space. Who knows how we use that? Um, that's an interesting one. But that is Zach Fisher. He'll be off to North Melbourne. Well, he's requested a trade to North Melbourne. I'm assuming that's where he will end up. And it's been a pleasure. What about you? What do you think about the situation? Where does your mind go when you hear that we're losing a player of Zach's capability. Um, do you believe that there is something else at play with a player to come in? Do you think this is just the natural evolution of the group? Be interested to hear your thoughts or read your thoughts. So put them down below.